step aside France and Italy. In the world of robo soccer, Austria is king. Not too many step overs, but this is a serious seven aside competition complete with a referee and robotic players who can effectively think for themselves. Something even some top league human players find difficult. For FIFA, think FIRA, the International Federation of Robo Soccer Association. At the Institute of Robotic Sciences or Mechatronics at Vienna's Technical University, the Ronaldinos of Robo Soccer are trained in artificial intelligence. These mini robots host different levels of software. The first level is the strategy level, which defines the position and role of a robot, telling it to defend the goal, for example, while the next level controls the complex motion functions. But RoboSoccer has a much more serious role, that of developing robots that will be smart and robust enough to assist astronauts in the hostile environment of space. Until now, robots intended for use in space have been mostly non-intelligent. Mechanical devices such as the European robotic arm are unable to make decisions or react to a situation independently of their controller. Whilst the mini soccer playing robots may be small, they are smarter than any other robots being used in space today. For this reason, the robo soccer players have been picked by ESA's advanced concept team to take part in a project called Furoshiki. Furoshiki is a joint project with the Japanese Space Agency. The idea is to spread a large net in space between four satellites in order to harness solar energy. The mini robots will climb across this mesh to fix photovoltaic cells in place. The first challenge was to build a prototype that wouldn't tangle inside the net. This sort of sandwich shaped robot was followed by Roby Insect, a cross between a spider and a centipede, an efficient little worker but one that needed the webbing to be tightly strung out to be effective. The third prototype, like the first, came in two parts with the net between them. Called Robbie Jr., it's a sort of son of Robbie sandwich and seemed that it could work pretty well in an unstable environment under microgravity. However, there was only one way to find out if Robbie Jr. was up to the task in space and that was to send it there. In fact, two Robbie Juniors were sent up in January 2006 along with a triangular piece of netting some 20 meters long. Although the robots encountered problems, one of them worked perfectly for at least 30 seconds and crawled more than two meters on the mesh. The final verdict reached was that Robbie Jr. had done its job and that the experiment was a success. Whether this technology will end up in space robotics is difficult to predict. But one thing that's certain is that the image many of us have at present of astronauts standing alone on Mars is outdated. It's almost certain that they'll be accompanied by robotic assistants able to react to commands and execute orders independently. These assistants will build on technology developed by the prototype Robbie Jr. Meanwhile, back at base, the robo soccer players showed that they not only shine at football, but also on the dance floor. More importantly, they have a bright future ahead of them in space.